Hi there. Today we're going to talk about uh, reaction kinetics or simply call it a reaction. Now here they say reaction. Reaction here means, let me go this up, huh? Reaction, it means um, no, chemical reactions. Anything to do with chemicals, okay? Or a system, right? For a system, which means there must be reagents and there must be products, okay? So this is the reaction to talk about. Now, of course, kinetics means uh, uh, it has velocity, it has speed speed so we talk how fast how fast is a reaction proceeding of course in this case here we talk about rate of reaction the reaction being a chemical reaction rate means how fast or how slow okay so we look at the first one here okay a candidate should be able to uh, to for simple rate equation now this is a key word no? rate equations okay let me read first uh, orders of reaction and rate constant these two things here is connected to this rate equations you see it, when, when you were in form five you learn about the rate of reaction or the speed of reaction now this is what you learn in form five let me show you are uh. okay now here is it now you learn how to measure the keyword is in form five you learn how to measure the rate Okay, let's say for example, this is the one you did in form five where you have calcium carbonate uh, acid and you give up um, calcium chloride, hydrogen, uh, get, uh, water and carbon dioxide. Here, of course, you measure it uh, by measuring something. You, know? you either measure the amount of reagents used up or you measure the amount of products formed. Now, let's go back to the idea of here first, okay? Um, I put down here the definition for the rate of reaction, okay? Rate of reaction is a rate, it means uh, time is involved here, okay? Time can be in seconds or in minutes, okay? Rate of change of the amount here, of course, can be mass or concentration, okay? Okay, normally the concentration is more often used, which this is in grams, Okay, or sometimes if it's in gas, it'd be in cm cube, or if it's concentration is moles per dm cube. Okay, okay. or the amount or concentration, see, of a particular reactant. So the first thing we can measure with, of course, is from the reactants. One, of course, reactants means uh, uh, A and B, they are reactants. That's what you begin with. Okay, of course, in this case, if there is a reaction, a and B, A or B, A and B will of course decrease. No, decrease. That's why you have rate is equals to minus. It means it's a decrease. Okay, decrease in concentration of A. Of course, in this case here, it means here moles per dm cube. Okay, over time. It means how much time it takes to decrease the concentration of region A or decrease of concentration of B, one of them will do over time. That's why rate, very important, rate has only one unit, which is moles per dm cube, per second or per minute. Depends on what's the uh, unit used for time, okay? Or you can say uh, uh, amount change of products, okay? It means the product is C and D, so here again, Right, how much will change? Of course, in the in time of reaction here, the amount of C and D will increase. That's why rate is equal to it's a positive sign here. Okay, rate of it means the amount D here means change. Huh? It's a it's a at at max of D is differential, you know, okay, differentiation. It means rate of change of concentration of C. Right, so most with the M cube or in your calcium carbonate and, and acid one use of your how many CM uh, CM cube of your carbon dioxide over time, okay? Of course, now in this case here, you can also measure it with 1OT. This is only used when, when some things are constant, when like the amount, amount of products, normally products, okay? The amount of products form is the same. 
Now you you have done this in form five where you you know when you make the tail sulfate, right? Sodium tail sulfate, sodium tail sulfate with acid, remember not? Okay, and of course uh, you, know, you put you you put the you know, the flask here, and you, they, they put a cross here, remember not? Okay, and the thing is mixed here, and you see the time taken for the uh, sulfur to come out, okay? Sulfur to come out, and it will. You know, block the X here, then you take a time. Okay, so this is the one one over T. But we are using more of this one here. Okay, where the rate of change of the decrease in the concentration of reactants. Okay, so this is the one here. Now, going back to the one uh, to your form five, now this is the diagram where you measure, where you calculate the rate. Remember, form five is only calculating, calculating or determining the rate, okay, the rate. That means you equals to, here of course, uh, you can see the volume of gas on the carbon dioxide given here. You time it, uh, then you take the, the measurement of your carbon dioxide after every, maybe after every 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds and uh, 60 seconds and then so forth. Huh? So you can see that it rises very fast and then goes down here. Okay, so normally what you do in form five, you take the plateau here, and this let's say is one hundred cm cube here. Or can it be la? <laughs> uh, because this is a if this is a buret, it can only go to fifty then. Okay, let's say uh, put it as forty five lah. Okay, to make it more believable. Forty five point zero zero. Okay. So time here, when it first touch, touch for 45 is, okay, one, two, three, let's say five minutes, okay? So five, four minutes, 240 seconds, okay? So what we do is you take, so the rate is equals to total amount of total volume of CO2 over time taken to reach that uh, volume there. So it's equals to what? 45 over 240, this is cm cube per second, okay? Now, so you measure the rate, very important, huh? So here you measure it, but as you go to form six, okay? You measure the rate, but you, you want to find something else. Now remember, uh, how fast a rate, okay? Uh, how fast the rate of reaction? How fast is it? is controlled by certain factors, okay? You learn also, uh, if you increase in concentration, well, the rate will increase. That's what, you increase temperature, rate also increase, and you did the AS, right? The Boltzmann distribution curve, Boltzmann. Okay, distribution curve. It's to explain uh, somehow, an increase in 10 degrees centigrade, the rate doubles. Increase by two times, times two. Right? So temperature catalyst also will increase the rate. Why? Because it will increase the rate by providing an alternative route, a different uh, uh, mechanism, okay? Pressure also will increase the rate. You increase the pressure for a gaseous system is like increasing the, the, temp the concentration. Rate. So more collisions, size, smaller size, faster and like. Now, remember, here we don't, we are, see all these are explained. Why do all these will increase? We explain by the collision theory. Collision theory, which have got two basic, well, states or assumptions or, well, statements. One is that for a reaction to occur, there must be collisions. There must be collisions between the molecules of the reactants. Two, not all collisions, not all collisions, right, are effective. They use the word effective, which means that they will become uh, products, right? Okay, but only collisions which what? Huh? Collisions which achieve, you say, which achieve activation energy uh, will be effective. 
this is the collision theory. Okay. So you explain why uh, all these things affect the rate, right? All this concentration, temperature, size, why you explain collision theory. But now we are for this part of your syllabus, all these things will be held constant. We are going to see how the one thing is concentration. Okay? Not only concentration, no, but of the reactants. Ah, very important. I'm going to put blue color here just to show you that uh, it's important. Of the reactants, okay? Concentrations of, this one here, of reactants. How does it affect the rate? Ah, for example, if you increase the concentration by one time, okay, uh, the concentration uh, increased by one also. Uh, so you increase the concentration by one, three increase by one. Increase by two, also increase by two. Increase by three, also increase by three. <coughs> Sometimes you increase by two, one times, the, the, the rate increases by two times. You increase the concentration by two times, you increase by four times, no? <coughs> and of course, sometimes you increase concentration by one time, the rate stays the same. Increase by five times, the rate stays the same. So these are there are three variables we're going to do. That's why I call it order of reaction. Okay, now, so how do you, well, what do you mean by uh, all these things? So how does the rate and the concentration of reactants, how does it fit in into our syllabus? That's why we have this thing called the rate equation. Okay, now. Let me just uh, show you <coughs> in the question, past the question, how the rate equation, remember, it is basically rate equation or the quite rate law. Very important now is to remember, this is what you are going to do and going to write, okay? Order, all these things will come inside. Let me show you the, uh, uh, some of the questions that, they got, they got this. Here first, okay? Now you see here, the syllabus say, the syllabus say rate equation, simple rate equations. The keyword is this, okay? Right? See, rate equation, okay? Explain and use the terms. Actually, we will derive, no, we will actually derive. Derive. The rate equation, some book call it rate law. For a system. For a system. A system here means a chemical reaction, okay? okay? I'm, I'm going to show you here what it means. Huh? I, don't, I don't know why it's always play out. I mean, like okay, system. I'm going to show you some of the question that has got this term called rate equation first. Do that you see that it actually comes out for exams? I'm going to show you three, okay? Uh, 53 here. Three. You see? Right? Now, this is the famous reaction. Is to I to, well, you got I. Iodinize the, the propanol. This one here. Now this is a system. This is a system. This is a chemical system. Right? You call it a system when you do entropy, remember not. Okay. Now here, okay, rate the order. Okay, after that, here. Construct a rate equation for the rational. See? Ah. See, basically, I wish trade that one first, okay? Uh, six, uh, 56, just, just around the corner. Okay. Okay, now here. See, hence write part two here. Hence write the rate equation for the reactions here. Again, the last one. Uh, just I, I'm sure you you get the drift. Okay, now here. Okay, rate equation. Okay, so okay. So basically, you see, you will always have the rate equation here. And there was one actually that actually uh, gives you uh, here. No, 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 this is very good. So now, now this is a very complex reaction. Okay, harm peroxide plus iodide and acid gives blah blah blah. Now here, see the general they give you here. The general form of the rate equation is this. You see, I'm going to use the question to teach. Okay, now in this reaction here, in this system here, they call it a system. Okay, remember now, this is a chemical system. Okay, where these are your reagents or reactants reactants okay remember we are not dealing with the concentration of the products no no we are only concentrating on this part here okay so the rate equation 
right? The rate equation, that means how does the rate, remember this is a measured rate. It's a measured rate, okay? And the measured rate is always in moles per dm cube per second or per minute. It's always the same, okay? Equals to, uh, I think it's a proportional, but you equal means put a k here. This is called the rate constant, okay? You will see later how they actually ask you about this, okay? Now they say, well, what controls the rate? Of course, uh, what controls the population? Well, the, 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 the wife and the husband, is it? Right, not? right? okay. Uh, that's the main thing. So what will control the rate? Well, it will be all these three fellas here. That means that the constant, they must be the collision of the reagents, uh, according to the collision theory. They must, they don't collide with the products, the product, products form already, unless a reverse reaction. But we're talking about a forward reaction. So the forward reaction, of course, is controlled and governed by, uh, uh, well, uh, the, all the regions. Now here, of course, there are three reactants here. So you put like here, H2O2, as I said, see, we don't know how, how does the concentration affect the rate. So you put A here. Okay, like here, here, A is now. And the concentration, remember this is very important. The concentration is moles per dm cube. Okay, normally you use moles per dm cube because it's all equals, right? Unless it's, it's, it's pressure, it's atmospheres. There's one question on, I will talk, talk in terms of atmospheres, now and later, okay? And of course, you have got your I minus and a B. And of course, concentration of H plus, which is C. Now, some, some people say, sir, why don't you use, like here is one, right? Look, stoichiometry is one here, right? Going to stoichiometry, stoichiometry, okay? Why don't you put one here? A equal to one, cannot. Okay, now these ABCs, ABCs are called the order, order of reaction. Okay, I'll explain it later. Okay, uh, normally for for us, you do zero order, one order, and second order. Okay, that's all. Zero, one, and two. Zero order is called zero order. Like it's she calls the, the name is called zero order. Okay, so it's called first order. First order. Don't call one. Okay, second order. Okay, so there are three orders here. I'll explain why. Okay, so now these are the, the these are called the orders. See orders of reaction. Now, if you look at look at here, they actually ask you uh, determine order. Let me I'll show you all the questions. Okay, ah, uh, right. So here, see what do you understand by the term order of a reaction. Order. What do you, what does it mean to you? Okay, one mark. Okay, another one, 56 also got, there's not, there's the same one I told you here. So the equation and the order goes hand in hand. See, what do you understand by the term order of reaction? One more, uh, 57, just next door here. Okay. Uh, 61, I'm, I crossed my eyes. <laughs> okay, 61. Okay, here we are order of reaction okay so two things are very important besides the k which i also ask you to calculate you ask you don't ask you to define them two things that is important okay it's the order reaction and of course how it fits into the whole thing called the rate equation okay let's hurry up okay got plenty to do okay now here right remember our aim is to explain and use of course, here we want to derive first the rate equation. And of course, we're going to use order of reaction. Okay? And we're going to use the rate constant. Half-life later. Rate demands that later. Okay? Now here, uh, this is what we are, we, are, we are aiming to do. Construct and use. We could just going to construct or determine or derive. Huh? The rate equation in the form of see look, ah see okay ah rate equals to remember this rate uh, is always always I want to emphasize always moles per dm cube per second okay right don't, I don't care how many a and b here and c I don't care because this is how you how you define rate rate is a change 
uh, of reagents concentration over time, or a rate of change of concentration of products over time. So concentration is always most, but then time is always second. Only one of the reagents or one of the products, only, okay, not two. Here you can have two two reagents, right, A and B or C as well. Okay, which M and now this is the order, okay? It's zero, one, or two, okay? Right? Now this whole thing here we will talk about later. Lah, okay. We should say we use uh, determine the, the order of a, a rate equation in the form of by concentration time graph, which we do now. Okay, from experimental data referred to initial rate. Of course, here means the initial here also, which means the initial concentration. Very important terms, okay? Initial. Right? So now let's go, let's go further now here. Okay, now before that, uh, you need to know that uh, there are two basically two types of reactions. Of course, there are more. Lah. But for us, we're going to talk about elementary reactions or elementary step reactions. Elementary. Elementary means uh, there's only one step. Okay, like here. Okay, A, uh, get B and C, one step. Okay. Uh, a plus A give you X plus Y, like here. H2 plus I2 give you 2HI. Now this is called, this one step, there's no multi-steps. Multi-steps, for example, which you've done, which you've done a lot, multi-steps, uh, multi okay? For multi-steps here, you've done a lot in organic chemistry. Okay, organic chemistry, there are plenty. Okay, chemistry here, there are plenty of multi-steps. For example, uh, CH4 gas, Plus Cl2 gas give you uh, CH3 Cl gas plus HCl. Now remember this is UV, remember not, okay? It undergoes the mechanism of what? Free radical? Free radical what? Radic C A L uh, radi radical. My goodness, my spinning. Hold on, uh. Free radical what? Radical substitution. Okay, so there are three steps in it. One, of course, is initial. I won't go through. Okay, initial two is what propagation, propagation. What is that one? Termination. Okay, termination. Okay, now there are three steps huh? to get the products. So this is called multi-step. Okay, but elementary means that one step. A, what B, get C and D. That's very simple. Okay. Now to write the so we have two types elementary and multi steps and we're going to write the rate equation for these two types very simple okay but the point is now how do we determine what are the orders of the concentration of the reactants now okay for that so Goldberg and Weish says that the rate is proportional the rate the one that you calculate the rate is proportional to active masses of reactants substance which means are uh, reagents not products okay at the instant right or we call it the rate determining step or basically uh, well after you see it, okay uh the step that's slowest okay now if it's a one step reaction which you don't normally give you in exams and not so easy okay if 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 it's just a that's going that's going to be controlling right the whole reaction that means that the rate law is rate equals to k because a and power one you'll follow the stoichiometry power one here Okay, so this is called the order. It's called first order. Why you follow the stoichiometry? Because it's the they tell you it's an elementary step. It means it's stated, it's well known. Then no problem. As I said, they won't do it so simple. Okay. Well, if 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 the if the, if the system is two a and it's an elementary action, it's equal to k and a quotient of a is power two. No problem. This second order. Here, of course, is uh the, the famous reaction of hydrogen aldehyde. H2 plus I2 give you 2HI, of course, now look at this one, not this one, here, this one, okay? Both the reactants as power one, power one, power one, okay, here's one and one, for the stoichiometry, yeah. okay? So here we say, well, uh, the order, this is how you say, uh, the order with respect to H2 is first order, okay? Order with respect to I2 is first order. Ah, then the overall order. Ah, overall order. You have to add up two. It's one plus one because of second order. This is overall order. Second order. Okay. Okay. So quite simple. Again, okay? talk about the reverse rate. Okay. So 
Now we're going to do zero order, first order and second order. So now the rate law cannot, cannot come from the equation because, why? Because we don't know if it's an elementary or a multi-step. Normally it's all multi-step. It's also simply, simply one, but one year came out to kill us, a simply elementary step, they tell you, okay? Of course, there are other hard things they'll ask you. Like. Okay, so if, if you don't know whether it's a multi-step or assume it's a multi-step, how do we know how will the concentration affect the rate? You use experimental results, very important now. Experiments, okay? Now I'm gonna not, I'm gonna go through all this here. I'm gonna go straight to the, the example, but now, now before that, as I said, they will ask you to define order, okay? Order, I, I put on here the order of ratio is with respect to a given reagent, okay? Now, don't have to use mine, you can use another one, reagent. It's the power of power, or they call it exponent, exponent, or the indices exponent, huh? and T. Uh, power or exponent of the reactant concentration in the experiment determinant rate equation now. I just want to show you what, how, how this, how they actually um, express here, okay? In the 03 paper four, this is the uh, marking scheme for order. The power, okay, right? The first word is the power, or later you see is called the exponent, exponent to which the concentration, the second word is concentration of the reagent. Now here, bracket, of course, it's answer is original, but better, you, it's not the products, I must remember, not the products, it's of the, concentration of the reagent, it's raised. That means uh, that, for example, uh, 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 rate is equals to K X to the power of P, okay? Y to the power of Q, I can put anything here, what? okay? So it's raised, the power to which concentration is raised, raised up here, okay? In the, uh, the third thing is the rate equation. The three points here for this one mark, the power to which the concentration of radius is raised in the rate equation, okay? Uh, see carefully, you have to learn by heart, no, I mean, because you're not very good in English, really, and you know, you know what they want. So you put the power, you get zero. Power to which the concentration of the radius is raised, okay? Now, second, now second, uh, 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 the definition here. The power, okay, the first mark. Here they put, uh, see, here they underline the three important things. Number one is the power or the index, uh, uh, this maths, you know, or exponent, okay, to which a concentration, of course, here, better still, of reagent or reactants. The is raised, again, okay, uh, this group, group was in, of or in a rate equation. Now, if you don't can if you really can't remember, you know, your English is not too good, uh, you can put this on, say, or, oh. okay? You can put this on there. You can put on there, rate is equal to this one here, right? The K is needed, okay? Uh, or you can use proportional, but normally K is better. This is A. If you use this one, define. They put here, K, nah, but define rate, okay? Rate equals to a K, you can put down here is the rate constant better. You will see what this means, okay? And uh, uh, this one is the concentration or ratio, okay? Define all your terms, concentration. See, you can define right here, concentration of what? Of reagent or reactant A. And then uh, A is called the power, okay? Or the exponent. Power, you can't remember, okay, right? Uh, uh, in the concentration of A, okay? And A equals to, must put down there, it's called the what? The order, okay? Okay, so you can put the equation up and explain what these terms mean. So here, remember the three points there, right? Power, concentration of regions in the rate equation. Three points for one mark. Not easy to get a mark, huh? so you must remember. Now here, same thing. Right, same thing. This, this is the final year. This is uh, uh, 2010. So, well, it's about 10 years ago. Okay, it's the power exponent, power or indices to which a concentration, you know, one, two, concentration or what of reactants is raised, you know, important word, huh, in the rate equation. You can also, or in the equations, blah, blah, blah. See, 
two ways to explain yourself. So I got very myself very clear, okay? So if I can see uh, here, they got this thing here. The rate is equal to blah, blah, blah. So now let's look at this again. Okay, so now our aim is, now, I put up here the overall, the overall order, okay? The sum of the powers of the concentration of terms of all your powers of all, concentration of all the reagents, okay? Remember, it's not products, huh? Not products, okay? Not of the reagents only. And you see why afterwards, okay? So, I can say here the rate law, okay? So, here's x plus y. Here's the stochastic tree is x and y here. You can't put it inside here because why? It is not an elementary step. It's not an elementary action. It is a multi step. We assume it's a multi step. Of course, can ax m can be equal to x, of course. And can be equal to y. Yes, I mean, if you prove it, uh, but you don't prove it, you just put, oh, it's not true yet until I prove it, okay? So we assume it's not true. Normally, it's not true. Okay, now, how do we determine the orders? Very simple. There are a few ways here I put down here. Of, but of course, the first one, of course, is this thing called the graph of reactance versus time. I'm keeping my eye at, this, at, at, at the uh, clock so I don't have to see my time. Okay, the first one is this one here. All right. Okay, now, I show you uh, this graph of reactance. Remember, I, I emphasize again, is reactants. This is the con this this one represents the concentration okay, of the reactants versus time. My right? rate is time, isn't it? So now uh, you look at the syllabus, this is what they did here. Okay. So here, see, interpret, interpreting. Oh here better. Deducing the order of a reaction or rate of equation in a reaction from concentration. I put red color la, so that Clearer here. Okay, see from from concentration time graphs. Concentration of what? Of reagents. Okay. You can actually later you see later you can also use uh, products. Now mind we we focus on concentration of reagents. Okay, right? The first one from experimental data. Ha. See, you must do experiment. There are two experiments that we will, we will, we will, we will talk about. And these two, these two experiments are, is us in your paper five. Okay? So, see, uh, interpreting experimental data in graphical form. Graphs are very important now. Graphs, graphs, from including, see the concentration time graph. Okay? There are two types of graph here. Concentration time graph and, of course, rate and concentration graph. Two kinds of graph. One and two. We will do these two, well, hopefully, we can't do it today. La. We only do one way today. Okay. So our time is catching up. Okay. Now my clear. So remember we are getting there now. Okay, now let's see what kind of uh experiments that we can do to determine our order. Then determine our rate law, rate equation. Okay. Now we won't go this okay. Okay, right here. All right. Now, as I said, there are two types, two experimental types of experiment two types of experiment one of course is called titrimetric that means you do by titration by titration normally uh, you cannot use acid and base uh, because you know uh, it's, it's too hard acid base uh, you can but normally it's too hard okay normally you titrate like your redox reactions okay um, you titrate iodine Right, you can titrate iron two plus. Okay, you can for something they can titrate. Okay, to find how will the concentration decrease? Normally decrease. This 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 normally will be the reagents. Okay, how will they decrease? Right. Secondly, by what what you call by calorimetry. Calorie. I put, use the British system. Huh? Calorimetry. That means that uh, you have to use what you call a calorimeter. Calorie meter. You measure. Let me see for this one here. One of the is either the reagents or kind of okay, or products. Okay, both of the kind of okay. You see after okay. Uh, must be colored. I'm gonna show you here. I got things uh, for you here. Now this is uh, this is this one here. I don't know if we can do this, but just to show you now. This is a color meter, uh, which we have in school, which actually you can look at the. Here, here, this part here is 
for, for, for observation to tell you the absorbance or the transmission like that, okay? Now this is how the color, uh, color meter works, okay? Light source, white light come here, all right? And it focuses into here. Now here, uh, now this is a filter here, okay? This filter here, I can filter off, I can filter off whatever light I don't want. So the light comes here, must be absorbed by here. If it's a blue color solution, I will put a yellow light. So this, this is how I absorb, how much blue remaining here and so forth, okay? This is my colorimetric idea. Now mind, okay, we come to that later. Okay, titration is very simple. Now, a very good example of course is this one here. Let's hope we can get through this right and then we close up. Now, here we have the iodine, okay? Iodine is color now. Now what color is iodine? It's reddish brown. You can use this one, huh? you can use color meter as well. Reddish brown. DD, yeah? brown. Or they call it orange or whatever. Okay. And of course, it's colors. This is a propanone, right? A stone is it? Propanone. And this is an acid. There are three reactants here. Okay. Right? Which you, uh, so you substitute your iron here. Okay. And this is the, this is the product here. Remember, H plus, uh, H plus is put up here because it's not in the equation. Why? Because it's a catalyst. Okay. This reaction will not go on. This and this uh, will not go on unless you put the catalyst. Otherwise, it's very slow. Okay. So, how do you follow the rate? How do you follow the rate? Uh, we follow the rate by determining the concentration of iodine. Because why? Right, iodine can be titrated. See, iodine can be titrated. See, right? Remember in your, in your titration, in your lower six iodine, use a tear sulfate, right? Uh, of course, if you have high concentration of iodine, you use more volume of tear sulfate. Here, of course, the, the, the molarity is fixed. Let's say it's 0 0.1 mole or whatever. Okay. okay. So the more volume here you use, the higher the concentration of iodine. See, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it means that you can see the concentration of iodine here is proportional, not equal, uh, proportional to the volume of tear sulfate used in the titration. So the volume is used as a measurement. It's used as a measurement. Used as a measurement. Okay, of the concentration. Here we concentrate in moles per dm cube eh? of iodine. Okay, so remember we use this here, the volume of your pure sulfate here. Okay, we don't have concentration of I2, no, don't have. Okay, we use this as a measurement equivalent, you can see. Okay, so how do you prove, how do you make, how do you do this experiment? Very simple. Now, here, the, the procedure is very important now. I mean, uh, they, they, will, they will tell you this uh, in paper five. Later for chirometry, they actually ask you, they, will, they actually ask you the procedure. Let me show you. Here they won't ask you the procedure. They will tell you the procedure, but you have to understand the procedure to understand what is happening. Now, I'll show you the other one first, okay? Where they ask you for the procedure, you know, for colorimetry, colorimeter, okay? Uh, hold on, I got it here, so colorimeter, I got it here, 51. Okay, you can see how how much they actually expect you expect of you. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Sorry, sorry. Correct one. Fifty one. Fifty. Sorry. We a reaction. Did I get it right? Fifty one. Fifty one. Ah, yes. Now, look at this question, okay? Uh, the ester 4 nitrophenyl ethane OH, okay? Why 4? It's carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, okay? Right? 4 nitrophenyl, okay? Phenyl. Ethan OH, uh, OH means that uh, there's an uh, ester group here. Ethan, 2 carbons, okay? okay? Don't care, right? These colors. They tell you one, okay? Because who will know this, uh, this, this substance here? Of course, it's colors you have to know. La. I mean, you don't know, that means you're an idiot, you see? Right? Now, to give you this one here, the hydrolysis, la. La. okay? Right? Alkali hydrolysis, eh? to give you this one. Now, this one is yellow color. La. Ah, once it's yellow, say, ah, it can work by colorimeter. That means I, me I measure now the concentration of my product. Never mind. Uh, this, I can convert it, I can convert the, 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 the products on to the concentration of concentration of your regions. Later, I will talk, show you how. Now, this is the question. Suggest and briefly describe, you know, suggest and briefly describe, man, a suitable experimental technique. See, you know, they ask you to describe. It means you must use good English words. You must use precise English words uh, to explain 
the whole procedure, the technique for studying the rate, see that, of the action. You need to explain yourself. And of course, some of you may not have may, may, may very good English. Eh? So you have to learn by heart. No, I mean, this, there's no just, I'm sorry, eh? but there's no other way. Eh? I mean, I don't know how to teach you other ways unless you got a magic, you can drink some water and then, oh, your English become very good. Okay, very important. Ah, yeah, I forgot to put down here. Um, this, I mean, I mean, I'll show you here. Zero to paper four, I show you, okay, zero to paper four. I must well show you what they actually want. And I'm going to use the same things here which they want, okay? Zero to paper four, okay? Zero to paper four is here. Don't worry, uh, this uh, zero to paper four. Is it June or whatever? I think June. Uh, let me show you here first. I uh, sometimes you hurry, hurry, you forget. Summer, okay, June paper four, summer. Okay, June two paper four, summer. Okay, here. You can see here how exact they want your answer to be, and you must you must prepare yourself for such a because uh, you don't prepare yourself just too bad, uh, you won't get the mark. Uh. I'm just just too bad. I mean, I don't know how to teach, otherwise, I know what they want, so I get them what they want. I have not seen the examiner, but I know what they want. Oh, here, see now. Right? Very important see, huh? see? Mix this, the underlying here, see now. Huh? I showed you, huh? So very important, you have to play the game. All right, I put it smaller, like this is too big, too fat. Okay, see? Mix a solution, huh? oh, these are the regions. This, and these are regions, huh? Do not titrate, huh? see now. Not by, not by titrimetric. But by what calorie metrics now? You see, not do not allow you know, Okay, ah, uh, the con see ah, uh, this volume ah, uh, right? And a known is known, right? Not only the volume, but also the concentration is important because we're going to talk about concentration. Okay, of this and this known volume and known concentration placed in the calorimeter with a fixed filter. Time taken for radio color to appear and uh, measure at absorbance in a fixed uh, over time, which they call it a regular uh, interval. I'm going to give you all these things, of, okay? Interval. What I'm telling you is that uh, there are five points to be gained here, and you have to put all these points inside. So uh, let me show you now, instead of a uh, color meter, I'm going to talk about titration. Okay? So, uh, the same idea, okay? I look here. Okay, how do I explain here? I'm going to tell you this first, okay? I've got 15 more minutes to <laughs> try to finish this. Okay, which is quite, uh, okay, now my, uh, don't complain, uh, uh, help you guys now my, free of charge, man, good night. Okay, how to follow this, this, uh, this, this, this direction? I want to follow it to measure the concentration of iodine at every regular intervals is a key point here. So what is, see here, mix, see, mix, see, I put on it. Known quantities, very important. Known. That means I know the volume. Here I use you know, 50 cc a km cube. 50 cm cube. 50 cm cube. See, unknown. Normally here's a volume. Okay. And known what? Concentrations. I got here 0 0.02. Very important. Is 0 0.2. See, huh? Now this and this, there's, there's different. Huh? How much how many times more is this? About 10 times more, say, or 10.25 more, huh? Very important. And then here, see, see this and these are same. But this, these two huh, are way more over than this one here. Like, like, like I told my class, uh, you have uh, 1,000 men and then three girls, no. Wow, uh, the, the, uh, the three girls will swap in, uh, in, in, let's say, three years, okay? Condition, uh, okay? So after that, all the girls gone, and you still get about 997 men. This excess, uh, uh, that means this is an excess, this is an excess, uh, this is the, called the limiting factor, the limiting concentration, okay, uh, that means uh, I'm going to determine the iodine, that means this is my key player, okay, so what happens, I'm going to mix them all up, right, and the time started, ah, uh, that means they will start writing, once when I put the S inside, they will start writing, right? so what happens is, I'm going to draw for you the, I'll draw over here, okay, I'm going to draw for you the, the thing here. Okay, I got some uh, candies on here. Now, I got the flask here. Okay, so I'm going to put inside here the first thing. I, first thing I put inside is my is my iodine. Okay, 
I do. I know, I I know I'm I, I what I want to do, I want to put a fixed a known volume. So it's, it's called a known volume. Known volume. Okay, I put volume here, RD is equal to 50 cm cube. Follow me, huh? Follow me, okay? I, and I'm also known the concentration because I, want, I, I prepare one. Put V1 here is a 0 0.02 more per dm cube, okay? More la. So I put inside here first. So this is the volume there. Okay? And then number two, I put my, my proper node. Okay? A known volume, V2, 50 or so. Okay? Why, why 50? Oh, because I need, I need quite a lot here to, to withdraw to force for titration. Okay? Not too much, not too little, just nice. Okay? And my molarity of this, I know because I prepared what? 0 0.25 molar. Thirdly, I put H plus. Can be H24, can be HCL, don't care. Lah. Okay? And the volume here, I'm going to put here of uh, 3 is also 50 cm cubes. Lah. Number known. Very important. Known volume and known concentration. And the molarity here, 3, is same as, is, is also in excess, 0 0.25. So now, once I put this three inside, the last thing I put is right here. Last one. Last. Okay? When I put this, I start the time. Actually, in the lab, uh, once you put it inside, you actually cock it up you know, with a funny cock. You know? It looks like a Morrison, you know? uh, or, or, or Russian. Uh, very nice, huh? Because it, because it, it, it will prevent the adding from coming So, boom, boom, I shake it, and I shake it. So, time, once I put it, it's, it's time zero then. Now I get ready my, my buret, uh, sorry, yeah, my buret here. And here would be my thiosulfate. Sodium thiosulfate, okay? Which I'm going to titrate, okay? So, I got my thing ready here, okay? I must have something to stop the reaction. This is your sodium hydrogen carbonate. It's a solid. It's sodium hydrogen carbonate. Okay. Normally it's about one gram, two grams. I put okay, two grams. Because this will react in my acid, right? And once that, once the acid is reacted, it will stop the reaction. So I wait, 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 wait until they always say five minutes. Okay. The first five minutes, the means time is equal to now five minutes. I use a I use a pipette, a 10 cm cube pipette, small pipette here. Yeah. It's 10 cm cube. 10.0 cm cube pipette, okay? Pipette. And I pipette from here. Here, pipette up. 10 cm cube, I'm putting here. Okay? So, here, 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 got 10.0 cm cube. All right. And I quickly put inside here my what? My sodium iron carbon. And this one, this one here will react with your. Red with what? With the acid. So no more acid, the whole thing stops, isn't it? Ah, stop already. But here is still going on. Here is still going on. Go on, go on, go on. Because I, the, the acid is still there. Right? So here stop. At five minutes, uh, it stops. That means uh, here I can find how much of iodine left unreacted at five minutes. Uh, okay? So how do I find how much of iodine there? Ah, now I titrate. Okay? With my, with my tear sulfate here. Okay? I get a value. Now, this is the value I put down here. I should put it all here easy for us, okay? So, remember, now this is experiment one. See, I did all these things I prepare. I tell you, not easy to, to do this thing, uh, to make it worth your while. Okay, uh, at five minutes, the volume of the Soviet use was 19.50. Actually, at zero, at, at, at zero minutes, it's at 20. Okay? Well, okay, never mind. It's just, okay? And then after that, I wait for another five minutes. Okay, so the the, 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 the time tick, tick, tick from zero, five minutes, I did run already. Then continue on here, right? Now. Here we'll continue reaction. Time 10 minutes, I prepared another one here, okay? Another one here, prepared after 10 minutes. Okay, time 10, 10 minutes. I, and, and I put in my tears of uh, 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 my soap carbon again. Freeze it, stop it, I try again. All right, and I put down, I, I, I find the volume. Okay. And then 15 minutes and so forth until half an hour. Okay? Right? After half an hour, I how much I take out? 10 times uh, 2, 4, 2, 4, 6. I, I only take out 60 cm cube, which I got a total of 150 then. Right? So now this is my 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 table values here. So now I'm going to draw a graph because it's all graph. Right? So how will my graph look like? Very simple here. Now I cut and paste it for you already. Now here is the volume of this Tanyin Tun's book. Lah. 
was 10 kilo. Okay, volume of gyro sulfate here. Okay, and this is the time. Here, five minutes here. Here's 15 minutes here. You can do this, right? you're supposed to do this. <clears throat> 25 minutes here. So at five minutes, it was 19.5 now, yeah. Ah, first point. Forget about the second graph first. At, see, 9.5, of course, you can check it here, now, okay? Right now, after 10 minutes, of course, the caution will go down, right? Because more of the RD has reacted, right now. So what left behind at 10 minutes is only a 19, so 19 here, right? Okay, see? Ah, then at 15 minutes, it's 18.5 and 18 and so on. Okay, now I plot the points here and I get a nice, beautiful straight line. Okay, forget the second line first guy. So what does it mean? Now, in done, this is a straight line graph. Of course, straight, straight line graph is equal to what? It's a, a, a y equals to mx plus c. Right now, so c is the intercept here. So a y is equal to mx. Very important now, very important now, okay. Uh, it's a straight line graph, that means, uh, the straight line graph means what? Now, this is, see, there are a few things you, uh, you can see, okay? Right, of course, you can see that, well, here is one, is it? I don't care about this, uh, I better don't confuse with the thing first. Okay, uh, sorry, erase better. Now, here, now look carefully, yeah? Look carefully, now, a straight line graph got how many slope? One slope is not, okay? One slope. So what's the, what is the slope? What is the slope? Draw a line here, right? So tangent is theta. Tangent theta is equals to the height here, which is how many, what's the volume? Now remember this is proportion to the concentration of iron. Remember to do it? This is what? Two, is it? So two, right? Two, two, over what? How much is it? Two over? 20 is it? Right now, of course, this is, this is in cm cube and this is a minute. Okay? Right? So it's 0 0.1 cm cube per minute. If I want to put down in terms of concentration of iodine, it'd be what? 0 0.1 mole per dm cube, okay? Per minute. That means this is my rate, isn't it? Right? Huh? Because the rate is equal to what? Rate is equal to decrease in concentration of iodine over time taken. So from here to here is my decrease in the concentration of iodine, isn't it? Over time taken. That means this is equal to rate, isn't it? So rate is equal to this one here. So, 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 so this, this is my rate. That means uh, did the rate change or not? For every, now this is, this is called your initial concentration, right? At, at zero, this will be the concentration of iodine, right? 20. Of course, in, uh, it's in volume here. So for, for the highest concentration here, what's the rate? 0 0.1. After five minutes or after 10 minutes, what's the concentration of iodine? 19. What's the rate? This one. Also 0 0.1. After 18 minutes, right here. Okay? Right at this point here. What is the rate? Same, same, because it's, it's a straight line. Same. So the rate did not change, right? If the rate did not change, right, right? That means, uh, that means rate proportional to concentration of iodine. That means the rate remain constant whatever I here, that means it must be zero or not. Yes? So rate is equals, equals to K, concentration of I2 is equal to zero order. Zero order. Let's stick to that first, okay? okay? So I determine now what is my order. That means if I change whatever concentration here, I put one here, two here, ten here, the rate will still be the same. The rate will change. That's what it means, zero order. Now, I do the, sec the, the scale experiment. I wash everything up, okay? Right? Here. Now, if you look at here, I explain it in this term here. Okay? Experiment two, right? 50 cm cube of 0 0.0, same concentration. Here I increase by the, the, the problem times two. Here is the same. Right? So, I, so I put down here to just to make it easier for us. Okay. So experiment two, see, this is same here. This is same here. I increase by, by times two. More concentration, of course, higher rate is not faster. You expect faster, is it? Okay, now let's see 
this is an experiment details. Yeah. Okay, see, so, okay. At five minutes here is not nineteen point five. Here is nineteen. That means uh, use less. That means uh, more of your ID is expected. Okay. At ten minutes less again. Uh, then I then put plot the graph again. Okay. Now uh, uh, that's my second graph so, here. Okay. So at five minutes here ta, 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 is here. Uh, okay. At ten minutes is eighteen. See here eighteen. Okay. Uh, experiment two. Eighteen. No. 18, 17, 16, 15, okay, 18, 17, 15, okay, 18, right, and then 17, okay, and then, yeah, yeah, 16. So I get another graph here. Ah, the slope has changed. The slope, now what's the slope now? Very simple here, okay, let's take here. Okay, same one here, I put the red color. Time is coming up today. Okay, here, okay, this, this, is, this is alpha now. So tangent alpha is equals to what? Okay, here to is how much? Here to here is two. Two over what? Here is 10. 0 0.2. Ah, in this case, yeah, the rate is double, no? Right? So, see? So, for, for whatever concentration of iodine I use, I don't know, right? This is the first one. If I increase the concentration of propanone by two times, here is 0 0.25, here is 0 0.5, the rate doubles. If the rate doubles, that means uh, the rate, that means uh, the rate, remember this, the slope is the rate, uh, so the rate, the slope is the rate, right? Remember, it's equals to, let's say I want to talk about now, proportional to first a K, and of course now my, my constant of my proper norm. I leave the other side, okay now, okay? So the rate, for the first concentration, right? If I, if, if I increase it by two times, right? The rate increased by two times, right here. So, okay, so as you can see from here, no, I, I'm going to do it like a time now. The rate, okay, the first reaction equals to, uh, I, put the, I put the whole thing on uh, I2 concentration, right? Uh, here is zero, I found already, okay? This is my, now I'm going go a bit more, okay? That's it. So I don't have X, okay, my H plus here is Y, okay? Now, over, I compare it, uh, okay? This is the easiest way to compare. Rate two, okay, because uh, it's over k again. The, the k has been constant because k is dependent on temperature. Okay, I two is zero here. Now mine CH three. And uh, 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 this for experiment one, experiment two. Okay, the concentration x of experiment two. So this is one. I say time, 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 time. Y uh, x uh, H plus and Y and two. Now, of course, this rate first is 0 0.1, is 0 0.2 now, okay? Now, this is cancel off. Cancel, cancel, cancel off. Might be the same now. So, I got now here, what? 0 0.25 over 0 0.50. The whole thing is power, what? X now, yeah? So, it's 1 over 2 equals to, here, so it's 1 over 2 now. So, what is X? X is 1. Right so, I found that, well, the order, order, with respect to propanon is what? First order, one. First order. Now quickly, then I change, for third experiment, I change this from here to here is same. And here to here is same, I change the constant of H plus. I wanna see how does H plus affect my rate. I double this. And I find the result here, right now, it's the same as my experiment two. Ah, that means if if I keep experiment one uh, and two, the 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 the, the, two, the what the iodine and the, the proper are the same. I if, if I double if I double here, if I you where is it? Uh, please don't play me out. Okay, if I double here, so here here to here is double. Here all same. Ah, the rate also doubles, uh, which means what? Uh, first order again with the H plus. Uh, okay, it's the same graph here. Same graph here. So graph, graph experiment one, graph experiment two, and graph experiment three, these two are same. So which means the same thing here, that means, uh, that means you say that order with respect to H plus is also what? First order. With all this, I can now write down my rate law. Fantastic. Now. So the, now means for this reaction, for this reaction here, so the rate is equals to, I can put a K here, 
concentration of I2, what's the what over here is zero, right? Concentration with respect to your component is how much? One. To H plus one? Also one. Right? And the overall order is what? Overall order is what? Two. Understand? Okay? Now this is how you determine for this reaction here, the rate, the order, first of all, for individual. And I need, I need three experiments to determine it. Because like all this, I keep this constant. Because this, this experiment only talks about you determine it by titrating the IOD. But I can change all this one. First thing I, first thing I changed was my question of proper not. Second I changed was question of RD or H plus. You know. Then from the graphs, I can deduce. Why not? Okay. But actually, uh, when you come to this data, you will see that I actually will use this called model of tables, a, a table. I can right now. Okay. Later, you see this is how it's done. Okay. Three. Now, uh, here be we call the initial concentration of I2. This is called initial concentration. Okay. Initial, very important, huh? initial concentration. It's in moles slash per dm cube. Okay? This again, initial concentration of propanon. Okay? Moles per dm cube. This, this, this one represents moles per dm cube, actually. Moles per dm cube. Third one is I, uh, H plus. Also moles per dm cube. Now, this is called rate. Okay? The normal say here is initial rate. And guess what is this here? It will be most per dm cube, what? Per second. Ah, very important. Now, experiment one, experiment two, experiment three. Now, this is how they would summarize. It's called the table form. I call the mother of tables. Here is 0 0.02. Here is 0 0.25. Here is 0 0.25. And the rate is 0 0.1. Okay, here is 0 0.02, this is 0 0.50, this is 0 0.25, and rate is 0 0.2. Here is 0 0.02, here is 0 0.25, and this is 0 0.50, rate is 0 0.2. Last minute, play me out. Okay, 0 0.2. Now from here, you can actually, if they give you this table here, right, you don't need the graph, is it? Of course, this is, this is derived, derived from the graph. From graph, okay. You know. Sometimes they don't give the graph; they give only the, the, this table. Easy, is it? Right? You can compare. You, you do the ratio way: rate one over rate two. Compare, okay, and get your uh, what? Okay, and then rate three, uh, rate one over rate three, and then get your order. Okay. So we will talk more about the color meter next time. Okay. You know. So the first one, of course, is called titrimetric. Is it clear? Okay, I better stop now. Bye bye, and see you. I'll hope to do another one next week, or maybe next day. I don't know. Okay, right. Uh, more stop recording.